Hi everyone, it's Oscar here. Uh, and let's go through a little tutorial on using the basics of Book Creator for iPad to uh, create a book that uh, can either be uh, sent and saved in the iBooks library on your iPad or emailed out uh, or exported as a PDF for some other purpose. So first thing, uh, let's slide across and look for Book Creator. Oh, there you go. I had it already typed in. If you type in book, uh, you'll know you're at the right one when you see the icon that's got the little rainbow. Okay, and Book Creator opens up now. Um, first thing to do is up in the top left corner, select New Book. Uh, you're going to see that there are a few different uh, shapes of the book that you can choose from. Portrait, square, landscape. Well, let's select portrait to start with and we're going to see a portrait uh, one open up. So we have a page. The first page that opens up is the cover page. So first let's look at uh, putting things into pages here. So the, the eye, the inspector in the top right corner, we click on that. That allows us to basically cr control a lot of the elements that go on in the pages in Book Creator. So for example, page color. Let's say that I don't want it to be white. I'm going to select that blue. We can change that. If you don't see the color you want, you can certainly pick a custom color. Um, I'm, I'm going to go back to the page uh, settings. You can control having a soundtrack, and I'll discuss that in another tutorial. Um, but basically, we have our page settings. So I click back on the page, and now we have the beginnings of a cover. Let's see about adding text. If you look up at that top bar again, the T, we select that, and that allows us to add text. The text is always added very simply, and then we control it. So. Um, Let's see if I put in um, all about the falcon. Okay, oh, this is a, you can see that I made a mistake there. So if I just hold on to the uh, push down a little bit on the where my letters are and wait for the magnifying glass, I can move the cursor along so that I can fix whatever I need to fix, all about the falcon. And I click done up in the top right corner. And now I have my text. Now, as you can see, if I click somewhere else on that page, the text is not selected anymore. You need to be, you need to select the text because then you can both alter things by moving around the little handled circles. You can change things about the text box, but also once it's selected, we can click that eye that's in the top right area and now do all kinds of things to the text. We can use the slider to make the text a little bit bigger. And since this is my cover page, I'm going to do that. Um, if I go back to the cover, now I can I can make the box fit a little bit better. And when I go back to the inspector, now I can actually center my text. I can clearly I can change the color because I want it to stand out a little bit more on on um, the colored background that I have. Uh, you can choose the font that you like. Uh, you have a lot of the fonts to to uh, change. Um, amongst, let me see what would work here. How about chalk duster? All about the fucking that's that looks awesome. And uh, you can layer things, do anything else you need to. So we go back to the page now. When you're ready to go on to the next page, you click the arrow, and now we have that we have a double double page layout here. So let's look at putting in pictures. So if we click on that little picture icon, we can select anything we want from our camera roll. I have a couple of pictures of falcons here, so I'm gonna click on that. And much like the other one, much like text, we move it around simply by dragging it around on the page using our finger. So there we go. Um, again, with the bar, with the uh, buttons in the corners, we can resize things, move things up and down. The grid allows us to know when we're centered. On the other side of the page, why don't we add a little bit of text? So my text is opened up again. Let me add the falcon is a majestic creature. Click done. And obviously a couple of issues, right? First, I'm going to move my text to the opposite page. And since I was already on white text, I can't see it now, can I? So I am going to... So as long as that text box is selected, I'm going to go up there. I'm going to change the color of the font to something I can see at least. Uh, how about we go with the, the that same blue color we had before? And you know what? I think this would this whole thing would look a little bit better if we had a slightly different colored background. So 
Let's go up to the inspector again. Notice how we unclicked any of the boxes we had. And we can actually select the page colors on both sides. So let us say that we select orange for here. Uh, actually, how about that brown? There you go. And maybe on the, on the other page as well. Uh, give it a brown background. All right, there we are. So what if we want to add a little bit of sound? Well, I'm going to make a recording. Maybe I want, to, maybe I want my, uh, my um, book to have me narrating the text. So as you can see, I'm going to press the recording button. Stop the recording. Back. You get a prompt that asks you if you want to use this recording. We select yes. And as you notice, there's a recording icon. We're not going to leave it on the middle of the page. We're going to put it, say, let's say we want to put it right up, uh, up there. And now that can be selected to hear the narration by someone who's watching the book. There. Now, let's go back and, and take a quick look at how many pages we have in our book that we're creating so far. You can see we have the cover page. Somehow we ended up with an extra double-sized page so I'm gonna click on that edit button and then it's gonna allow me to delete it so we can get rid of it so that's great and now we have our our book so once you have created the book that you want um, as you notice you can actually open the book directly from here into something else okay uh, let me click off of there because if you notice if you click on my books now we're gonna see that that there as well. And we can, again, we can share it by opening it up in iBooks or any a, a few other uh, Dropbox, a few other applications that support that. If you were opening it to Dropbox, you could store it up there. We can export it a number of different ways. One of the important ways is by email as a PDF. Okay, exporting it as, an, as a PDF and you can select, do you want a border, do you want side-by-side -side pages? And if we click that, we'll get an email window that will let us send it to someone. For example, a student sending it to a teacher. Okay. Um, we also, then it also again offers us the option to open it as another app, uh, as a PDF, sorry, in other applications. And you can see a few of those that open up, including iBooks. But let me go straight to opening in iBooks so you can see what happens. The iBooks library opens up and the, the book automatically opens and you can see how somebody could now watch it with the page flips and they see that and if they clicked on the, and that now the tutorial disappears. Um, I'm recording The Falcon is a Majestic Creature and you heard the narration that I included with a little editorial and then that's it so and if we were to click back there now if we go to our library we can see that in fact uh, all about the falcon is now part of the iBooks library so those are some of the basics in terms of uh, using book creator for ipad to create books okay enjoy